Monday. Uh, we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. Also, a couple of areas here, tropical waves, uh, which one is impacting the Lesser Antilles. It's been producing some showery weather for the Leeward and Windward Islands, and also another tropical wave a few hundred miles on to the east of that, making its way on westward as well. First off, the 11 p.m. word from the National Hurricane Center on Tropical Storm Lily. Uh, Lily at that time was estimated to be centered near latitude 45.3 north, longitude 29.0 west. That put the center of the tropical storm about 1,050 miles west-southwest of Galway, Ireland, with maximum sustained winds near 65 miles per hour and little weakening expected at least over the next 24 hours. And the storm continues to move to the northeast at about 31 miles per hour with estimated central pressure around 990 millibars. Now the storm has lasted surprisingly long once it got out over the cold waters of the North Atlantic, but it has finally begun to uh, weaken and lose its tropical characteristics. And again, at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday, the last advisory issued on Lily, and it is forecast to become extra tropical, to lose its tropical characteristics as it sweeps on toward the British Isles. And uh, it is likely to begin spreading the rain and uh, high winds into the British Isles late Sunday nights and early Monday morning. Let's take a look now uh, further south. At An in-depth look at weather in the West, Alaska and Hawaii is next in the Pacific Update.
Well, good morning. Time for the you. tropical update. I'm Rick Griffin here with Will Annan. Thanks for joining us. This look for favored at developed historically, pretty evenly distributed across the climatologically favored uh, uh, areas, 1886 to 1995. And of course, if you probably remember that in the first third and the second third of the month of October, more storms formed. So the bottom line with that is we're winding down the tropical season. The peak, of course, occurred back in September. We're heading downhill into the through the month of October, but even through November, uh, storms can develop in the tropics. So we'll keep an eye on many possible developments as we go along here. What we've seen recently is the dissipation, or at least the once Hurricane Lily become an extra tropical storm. It's right up here. It's crossing the horizon. It's heading on toward the British Isles, as a matter of fact. I'll show you more in just a second. We have a few tropical waves here in the South Atlantic and one in the Eastern Caribbean. But look at the Central and Western Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. There is hardly a cloud, let alone any thunderstorm activity or clusters of thunderstorms to be concerned about. So our next stop is Lily, once a hurricane, of course. A long duration hurricane. It seems like we talked about it for a couple of weeks. And in the first frame or two here, it looked like a tropical system. But as it moves east northeast at an increasingly fast pace as it gets caught up in the jet stream winds, drier, cooler air is being pulled into the circulation on the west and southwest side of the storm. Lily's probably acquiring fronts now, frontogenesis taking place that is losing its tropical characteristics. In fact, it has done that and is now considered an extra tropical storm, much like this big uh, mid-latitude cyclone here coming southeast off the Canadian Maritimes. Uh, back to Lily, where is it going to go? Well, it's heading on the jet stream winds up towards Ireland by midday tomorrow. And just because it is not a tropical system now, that doesn't mean it's not going to stir things up. In fact, we do expect some rough weather, heavy rains, and high winds in Ireland and England. Sometimes people take for granted about the best things ever planted. But they should be enchanted, should appreciate their trees. Trees, trees, calling on the days our nation spreads the word across the nation about trees. Trees are terrific. <laughs> Your show, your town. Good day, Philadelphia. Tomorrow morning on Fox Philadelphia.